Hi, it's Jill Hasman with Remax Andrew Hasman Realty. Andrew and I have a number of tips. You can look through the following photos and see that there's room for improvement. It's always nice when you're getting your home ready for sale. If you can get these little bits out of the way, it has a lot of less deficiencies and you will notice that there's a huge amount of pride of ownership afterwards and it doesn't take that much effort. Uh, putting some flowers out at the front door makes your home welcoming. You can add a welcome mat. Uh, having uh, no grass and weeds growing where it's mud, accessing your barbecue is not ideal. Nice to throw some pavers down, maybe some grass seed when you know you're coming on the market in the number of weeks ahead or putting some ground cover down. Getting your backyard uh, looking enticing, especially for young families or families with uh, dogs. Nice to have the grass cut. Uh, if there's spots that are missing, having grass seed put down. And if you have cedars that are really tall uh, not really doing too much for your landscaping and they're kind of bare at the top, it's nice to cut them down to maybe 10 or 12 feet, which makes cutting them a lot easier, but will also give a lot of nicer shape to them. As well, if you have wooden steps or decking or patio coverage and their pieces, some of them are rotted, it's nice to have them pulled out and replaced just so that there's pride of ownership and the home is looking like it's being maintained. These are just tips and tricks before going on the market that help you maximize uh, the outcome for you as a seller and also makes it easier for the buyer because not everybody's handy or wants to uh, pay you top dollar and then have to do all these uh, minor little things that don't take very long. Uh, stay tuned for other tips and tricks uh, as we go forward.